to Hockey Town here in Detroit, Michigan. Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. The Red Wings seem to be checking the boxes in all areas right now, Ray. And I think when we talked to the coaches this morning, we got that sense that they're very happy with the way that they've played. But don't let your play slip. Things are going so well. Push it as far as you can. The officials made his way to center ice, and we are ready to get things underway. Well, the hype for this one has been off the hook. Puck is dropped. Let's see if this one actually lives up to it. Here's a rip. Denies him. He got all of it. Now a quick pass to Chikrin. Grips it and rips it. Shuts him down. And he slides it quickly to Chikrin. And it's a quick pass to Carlson. And he takes a shot. Wow. He scores! And they're on the board early! They told us this morning they thought they could jump out quick. And they certainly did that for the visitors. Well, the goaltender never picks this up. There's so many people in front of the net. But how does the puck get through all of those people without hitting a body or a stick? It is a seeing-eye shot. The Red Wings were preaching good start. Mission accomplished so far. Yeah, you can preach it all you want. You've got to execute it. And they came out as aggressive as they possibly could be. And they capitalized early. They gained the offensive zone from the middle. Carlson's taking it from his own end. The Red Wings will play it through the neutral zone. Right up front. Taken along the wall by Larkin. And now he moves it quickly to Chikrin. Rips it from the blue line bodies in the way and tries to make a diagonal pass to Chikrin scores with a little added drink on the side I like when the bottle goes up in the air how angry the goalie gets like he slapped the bottle away it's not the bottle's fault like stop the puck man just the insult to injury with the bottle pop I don't think the goaltender gets a look at this at all James he just drops into the butterfly he's hoping the thing hits him through that traffic Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. The Red Wings have all the momentum right now, leading by two. Detroit's won it at center ice now. He grabs the puck and tries to make a diagonal pass to Niederreiter. And he slides it quickly to Mantha. Picks off the pass. The Leafs play it along the wing. Levels him with the hit. Strom stick handling in his own zone. He's got a step. He scores! Oh, I love getting on a breakaway, James. You're out front, and if you've got confidence, you've got to sell your move and finish it off. Now we get another look at this, James. This is a beautiful goal. He sprung out in the clear on the breakaway, pulls the goalie out of position, and puts it away. Detroit's taken full advantage of their scoring opportunities with a comfortable lead here in the first. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Moves it quickly over to Strom. The Red Wings take it across the blue line. To his teammate! Puck picked up by Niederreiter. Tees it up from the blue line. Grabs the puck in the corner. Slides that one right across the blue line. Tees it up from the point. Score! Maybe they should try both goalies in the net down there. This net is going to get tipped over if they keep scoring. Well, I guess he couldn't catch up to that one, eh, James? Right past him from the blue line. It just was a rocket. The Leafs are going to swap goaltenders. You ever wonder in a blow-up why the goalie leaving skates way faster than the guy coming in? More than half the period left to play. The Red Wings have added to their lead. They're now up by four. Detroit's won the draw. Who's the puck? There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Past 
the midway mark in this period. Detroit's fans are loving every minute of this one as they lead 4-0. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Moves it to Verona. The Red Wings take it along the wall. And that's blocked. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. The Red Wings have had way more chances offensively, and as a result, they're leading in this one. Play resumes as they win the draw here. Scores! His second of the night! When you get one, you start to get greedy. You want another one. You know it could be your night. Now he's got two. If that's me, first spot it. I could get three. I know I can. Dig for the next one. I think this goalie's going to look up at the clock and see just exactly how much time is melted away. It's going from bad to worse for these guys. The Red Wings have been all over them, and there's still plenty of time left in this first. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Slides into Athanasiu. And we've got a two-on-one denied by the goaltender. Now a quick pass to Carlson. Quick shot, blocked in traffic. Grabbed along the boards by Verona. Driving right to the front. Denies him with the blocker. What a stop by Bishop. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. Looks to pass it to Verona. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Denies him in close. Tavares takes the puck. Slides it across to Mulgan. And they send it right back to him. Through center along the wing. He got all of that hit. The Red Wings gain control of the puck against the wall. And he slides it quickly to Athanasiu. On the doorstep. Scores! Quick blast. No chance. Really good maneuverability in a tight spot down by the net. He gets the pass and he one-times that in from the low slot. Detroit's offense has been shining brightly so far in this first period. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Slides the puck over. Quick feed to Nylander. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Moves along the blue line. Oh, what a save by Bishop. Picking up ahead of Steve. Oh, the breakaway! Well, a one-sided contest through the first 20 minutes as it finally comes to an end. Listen up, fans. For tonight only, all team jerseys are 15% off regular price with the presentation of your ticket stub. Get yours before they're all gone. Teams back on the ice are lined up, and period number two is about ready to go. Set to get underway here in the second period. We'll see if they can stop the bleeding. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? Detroit's game plan has been executed almost to perfection. They've had the puck the whole time, and they have a pretty comfortable lead. Centered out in front, and they can't convert to the play. He's got it behind the cage. And it's a quick pass to Nylander. Toronto's moving it into the offensive end. Into the corner. Detroit's got the puck along the wall. And he breaks up the opportunity in front with a poke check. Bennington's had a relatively easy night. He hasn't faced many shots, and they've got a nice, comfortable lead. Nowhere for that shot to go through. They've got the defense outnumbered. Unleashes a cannon! He was locked in there. And now he moves it quickly to Carlson. Puck scooped up by Heiskanen. 
And now he tries to get it across to Mantha. And there's the save. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Matthews brings it in. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. To the front. Scores! Dylan Larkin! where the heck this thing's going. I'm looking at the shot. I can't tell where it's going, but the backhander beats the goaltender. Detroit's performance has to have their coach smiling down the bench, Ray. What are you seeing? I guess he smiled a little bit. Coaches never relax, but how could he not be pleased with this? They're running a shutout, and they're running up the score at the other end. Shot! Oh, he got paddled by Bishop. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. And now it's grabbed by Tavares. Takes the pass through the middle. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Made the save on the play. Gains the zone from the right side. Drives to the sweet spot. Stick save and a butte by Bishop. Good save. Positional save through traffic. Here's a chance behind the net. Quick pass to Strom. Here's a shot. Deflection. Taken by Niederreiter. And he slides it quickly to Falamaki. Detroit's playing the puck from the blue line. His reflexes on display tonight. Another sellout crowd here tonight. It's kind of a broken record when we say that these yeah, days. Yeah, it's starting to be the, the regular deal here. As the team plays well, the crowd follows. The Red Wings have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And he denied that opportunity. Uses the force on that hit. Sends it in on the attack. The Red Wings have it against the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. Here's a chance. Sends it across. Oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. The Red Wings play it near the point. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. The Leafs move the puck in the defensive zone. Toronto's got it against the boards. Puck dumped in. Detroit's got a hold of it along the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. And the period has come to an end in what has been a very one-sided affair tonight. Don't forget to check out tonight's game highlights, post-game analysis, player interviews, and vlogs on our team website. New content is added. Daily. Third period is just around the corner, so don't even think about putting that controller down. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. Here we go. Third period set to get underway. Simply too much to not enough at this point. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? The Leafs are in the position they deserve right now, James. They're behind in the game. They haven't had the puck much. They're running around trying to get it back. And he slides it quickly to Carlson. Chikrin's eyes are looking for three. He's got two in his back pocket. Dangerous player now. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. And now it's grabbed by Bertuzzi. The Red Wings ready to go on the attack. Detroit's working around along the line. Unloads from the blue line. The Leafs will play it in their own end. Coughs it up at center. Strom's had the puck in his hands a great deal tonight. He's got a... Puts it in the back of the net. And there's number 20. You can appreciate these moments. Yeah, these are good numbers, I'll tell you. You get past 20, and you know you've had a good season. This is a really good place to get lost on the ice. The defensemen are down low defending. The forwards are worried about the point. If you can find this high slot play, 
you often are going to get a one-timer. Detroit's lamp lighting performance continues here with another goal in the third. They can walk home. They have dominated this third period. They've stretched the lead out into a really comfortable margin. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Puts it high. Yeah, it sounds great. Hit the net, though. You got a better chance to score. Toronto's playing it through center. Looks to set up at the point now. Takes the pass. Chikrin's sure been fun to watch tonight. He's scores! Man, this night has gone well for him from the very beginning. He got the first one, and you could just see the puck was kind of finding him tonight. And he caps it off with his third goal of the game. Oh, I like his move here. He really pushes the goaltender to one side of the net before he puts it in low. The Red Wings haven't missed much tonight, Ray. No, they'd have to play really poorly to screw up this now. They have played outstanding hockey. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Takes the feed. Heiskanen slugging the puck. Pushes it across to Niederreiter. Assisted. Here's a short pass to Strom. Takes that pass back at the point. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. The Red Wings carrying it along the blue line. From one point man to another. You put this kind of pressure on, eventually they can't chase you anymore. Now he's got room to carry the puck. The Red Wings working around near the back end. Dismiss that chance. Puck grabbed by Mulgan. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Looks to get the puck over to Niederreiter. Hammers it on net. Stones up with the blocker. Nothing doing on that. Sends a pass over. Unleashes a cannon. Denies him with a save. Gets it to the other point. Nears the blue line and looks to set up at the point. Hammers one from the point. Oh, what a stop by Bishop. Makes the save on the play as the puck skips out into the crowd. Uh, even though his faceoff stays in the defensive zone, this is a really good save. With his players in front of him just totally gassed, he's able to deflect it up out of play so everybody can go grab a breather. Point-to-point -point pass. Now a quick pass to Heiskanen. Winds up, lets it go, stops him cold. And it's a quick pass to Heiskanen. This incredibly one-sided contest finally reaches its final minute. 54 seconds. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Can't get a hold of that pass. Scoops up the puck here. Reads the pass perfectly and picks it off. Hammers the shot. Denies him on the slapper. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Answered the call on that play. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Here's a chance on the Whoa. doorstep. He scores! On the one-timer, two sweep! A sweet feed there. The butterfly pass goes across and the shooter doesn't miss. Detroit's put in one of their most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time, a big time late in this third. Toronto's won the draw in the neutral zone. Smart defensive play there. Scooped up along the wall by Riley. And now he moves it quickly to Marner. Rocks him on the play. Puck picked up by Bertuzzi. 
He has been like a brick wall as of late, and with just seconds to spare, another shutout looms here. Detroit's been the better team offensively tonight. A lot of scoring chances, and they lead it late in this third period. Takes a shot, and that's it! Chikrin's hat trick leads the way in the victory, Ray. Got himself into good position to shoot the puck tonight. He was in front of the net. He was a dangerous player all night long. They're feeling good about this one, and here they come back out onto the ice, Razor. Unreal support from their fans. They salute them a thank you for their efforts tonight. For my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us. Good night. supposed to yeah recall i'm sorry babe i just got the call it turns my stomach to disappoint you i know the trouble that you must go to it's from a place you can barely imagine far from the crowd and the ambulances at my best i've almost been They say you're going to lose your mind in Detroit Rock City. Well, here we are, Detroit, Michigan, along with Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. The Red Wings roll in as one of the hottest teams in hockey tonight, Ray. They haven't missed for a while. I've liked everything about them on this winning streak. They took the game to their opponents. Their special teams have been good. Their goaltending's been good. When you're riding high, keep it rolling. Center's both set to dig on in, and we are about ready to go. The Red Wings start with possession as we are now underway. Detroit's got it across the line. Sends it out right in front. Scores! Listen to this place. What a start for them. Get the game's first goal. Now they have to keep the pressure on. Shooter's able to corral that saucer pass, and then he beats the goaltender.
Detroit sent an early message. You are not welcome here tonight. The road team always worries about the first 10 minutes. Man, they didn't even get out of the first minute, and they're down one. Red Wings goal. Score by Cuts into the paint. Denies him in front. This is a quality chance that the goaltender turns aside right from the slot. Feeds it up ahead. Great breakout pass to spring the scoring chance. And they can't connect. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Moves it quickly over to Carlson. Unloads a shot. Oh, what a save in front. Denies him again. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Takes the feed. Puck scooped up by Granlin. Throws it on goal. Oh, what a big time stop by Bennington. Carlson's carrying it ahead. Nashville's regained possession of the puck. The Predators scoop it up along the boards. Along the side here. In all alone on the breakaway. Big time stop. Nose to nose, the goalie comes out better on this chance. Gets the puck over to Heiskanen. Takes the pass from the left wing. The Red Wings looking against the half wall. Slot shot from the point. Gets control of the puck right in front of his own end. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Oh, catches him in the open ice. Nashville's in transition. Rocks him. Detroit's gained possession along the boards. Back to the blue line. Denies him on the play. Detroit's got control of the puck. From the opposite point. Turns him away. Taken by Niederreiter. And he slides it quickly to Heiskanen. Scores! That's back-to-back, -back, Ray. Well, the, the game has changed. Those two goals here really have changed the other one. He's probably got about two seconds from the time that puck's delivered to find it. He can't see it, so he drops into the butterfly and hopes it hits him. The Red Wings have been clicking on all cylinders tonight here in this first period. The two-goal lead is the way it should be. I like the way that they've pursued this game so far. And now it's grabbed by Pesci. Slides the puck to Verona. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. From the point, looks to make something happen. What a stop! Across the point. Here he is in front! A shot, and he comes up with it. The Predators will play it from the defensive zone. And he regains control of the puck. The Red Wings gain possession along the wall. Detroit's across the blue line. Takes a shot. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Along the half wall with the puck. The Red Wings take possession in the defensive end. Here they come up along the wing. Big time stop there. Puck grabbed by Fabry. Moves it on over to Carlson. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Here in the late going of the frame. Detroit's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. The Red Wings win it. Puck picked up by Chikrin. And he slides it quickly to Carlson. And that's just out of reach. Nashville's got it from behind the net. Moves the puck along the half wall. Here he is in front! Stopped by the goaltender. Smothered that in close chance. Tip shot! And with just seconds to spare, they get a goal here to close things out. You gotta look at it from both ways. That's a real kick in the pants for the team that gave up the goal. But what a boost of energy for them to score this late in the period. The good thing he one times his puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. The Red Wings have outshot, outscored, and all around dominated here in this first. There's the horn. It might as well be someone yelling uncle to conclude this first period. What a demolition.
As both teams get a breather here in this first intermission, we'll do the same and get ready for period number two. Official has made his way back to center rice, and we are ready to go for period number two. A one-sided affair after the first 20 minutes. Here we go for period number two. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. The Red Wings haven't had to defend really at all. They've had the puck the whole night, James. They've been in control, and as a result, they have a comfortable lead. Well, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. There's the whistle, and a penalty is coming up on this one. Harvinson's been nabbed for tripping. Reaching out for the puck. I guess it's a little bit of a bad play. You've got to realize the guy's getting away. Let him go before you take the penalty. The official's making him pay for it. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. One of the keys to the game is having an excellent special team. This is their first power play tonight. Back to the point it goes. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Haskinen's run to be among the top scorers in the league continues. It doesn't matter whether you try to shut him down. He finds a way to produce. Detroit's been all over them here in this second period. Just look at the score. And they have dominated in the shot clock, too. The Red Wings have it now. And here's the pass to Strom. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Detroit's got the lead here early in this second period. Their offense has been clicking at all cylinders thus far. Nashville's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Makes his presence known on the ice. Mantha's got it across the line. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Chikrin's an outstanding playmaker. He's got terrific vision, and as a result, he leads the league in assists at this point. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Red Wings have dominated this one to this point. They lead it 3 0. Moves it to Athanasiu. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face off just outside the offensive zone. Haskinen's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same, you wear the same suit all the time. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Look out. And scores! On the breakaway! Beautiful! He got out ahead of the pack. And now all that's left is to finish this great opportunity. And he does. He's so calm on this breakaway, he's got his head up the whole way. He picks his spot, snaps it by the goalie. Nashville's gonna switch things up between the pipes. You ever wonder in a blowout why the goalie leaving skates way faster than the guy coming in? The Red Wings have put on an impressive offensive display, but equally, their defensive performance, too. They look like they're from a different league. They've dominated this game through most of the first two periods. Moving into the attacking zone. Denies him with the save. Strom's always been an effective player at both ends of the ice. You can see here with the plus-minus groupings, he's shown effectiveness at both ends. The Red Wings have generated a lot of pucks on net and have turned more than a few of those shots into goals. Detroit's won the faceoff. The Predators have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Play is blown dead. We've got a penalty on the way. Now you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. 
Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. This is where your big boys get to really earn their money. Out on the power play for the very first time tonight. Nino Niederreiter, two minutes for tripping. Time to the penalty. And now it's over to Larkin. Here he is on the tip. Great save by the goaltender to get a pat on that one. Keeping the puck out of the net. And he makes the save. They've got fresh people on the ice. He might have a step here. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Scores! Pretty deceptive move here. Short like a breakaway. He makes no mistake. about this nice move on the breakaway to get into the clear and then he beats the goalie taking advantage of a great opportunity the predators needed that one as they get back to center ice they need a lot more than that it's really been a poor performance by them so far the Red Wings win possession here in the open ice. Heiskanen's moving it ahead. And now he moves it to Nylander. Rips it along the wall. Standing tall with the save. Detroit's been able to play themselves to the top of the league standings with a consistent season. From the goaltender to the guys doing their scoring, it's been an excellent year. The Red Wings lead in a big way here in this second. They have been on fire offensively. He scores! Yeah, somebody punch you in the mouth, you gotta punch them back, and that's exactly what they've done. Well, he was brought into the game here to provide some relief in goal. No relief provided there. He gets beat. Detroit's opposition can't be feeling too good tonight about now, Ray. No, they're looking at the clock and hoping they go to straight time and this thing can end in a hurry. Heiskanen's got the puck in his own zone. They go on the attack from the left side. Moves it around along the half wall. And now he angles it across to Heiskanen. Man, when you got two goals, it's your night. You want to look for a third one. He's got the puck in the offensive zone again. Oh, what a stop! Monstrous hit on the boards! You gotta get up close to the boards. When you know that hit's coming, the only way you can absorb it is to get close and just take the hit. In close! Makes the save as he got a blocker on it! Set it out in front! Now a quick pass to Heiskanen. Moves across the point. Handles the puck. Haskinen's hungry for that third one. He's got two. He took that quick little pass. Now he's a dangerous player. Puck set across the blue line. It's like they put a lid on the blue line. This four-check shift continues. Wicked slap shot! And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Arvidsson's going off to the box for two minutes. It's a tough penalty to take. You're trying to do the right thing. Unfortunately, you pull his feet out. You got to go to the penalty box. Detroit's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. When you've already scored on the power play and you get one now, you can't wait to get over the boards to get started again. Gets it out of his own end. Moves the puck to Strom. With possession along the wall. Here he, he scores! Putting the special in special teams tonight. Uh, the extra work they've done, the way that they've moved some people around, has helped them cash in more than once on the power play. Bang, bang, play. The goalie's got no chance. When you're in that close and you get the chance to one-time it, you're likely going to score unless you hit the goalie.
the Red Wings clearly aren't a fan of any mercy rule tonight, are they? No, when it's your night, though, go and enjoy it. You got a few goals, go get a few more. There's going to be some nights that it doesn't happen like this. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Mantha. Finds nothing but air on that shot. Granlin's picking up steam. Sends the pass over. And it's a quick pass to Arvidsson. Nashville's on the attack. Coughs it up on the play. Carlson's moving the puck through his own zone. Passes on over to Mantha. The Predators look to start the transition game. Oh, he got clobbered. Man, did he ever. And to make matters worse, he's got his stick knocked out of his hands. Now he's got to go chase the twig down. Comes up big yes. with the save. He takes a deep breath at center ice. It's go time here. Scores! Shows a lot of poise. When you get out there by yourself, your heart speeds up, but you still have to stay calm. He does it perfectly. Nashville's back to center ice. What's the message here? Because there's still a long way to go. I don't think anybody looks too far ahead. They just, you got one goal. Try and get another. Try and get yourself within shouting distance. From one end of the blue line to the other. Puck scooped up by Athanasiu. Five seconds to go. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. With the blast, comes up with the stop. And the horn sounds to stop the bleeding, at least for a few minutes anyway. Please don't throw any objects on or towards the playing surface at any time during the game. The throwing of any object is grounds for immediate removal from this building. And we'll be right back for what should be a very intriguing third. The officials are set, the players are set, Ray Ferraro between the benches is set. I'm James Cebulski, let's go. Well, this has been an absolute blowout through the first two periods as we get underway here in the third. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? Nashville's players have been a turnover machine tonight. Every time they have it, it seems like they force it into an area where they lose it. They lose the puck, they're losing the game. 
Detroit's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here's a blast. The Predators get a hold of the puck. Quick feed to Granlin. From the left side, they gain the zone. He says, let's get physical on that play. Detroit's looking to break out. Nylander's swooping in on the attack. What a shot! He scores! Oh, man, the goalie thought he had this cover, James. You can tell from his body language, but it beats him. Hits the post and goes in. They really read this odd man rush right. They didn't overmove the puck. They didn't make one extra pass. When it got into the shooting spot, it was delivered into the net. The Red Wings have really opened it up here in the third period. Impressive offensive performance. It's coming from everybody. They've kept their foot on the gas. It's been in a relentless offensive attack. Detroit's got the puck in the defensive end. Here they are on the attack. Let's the wrister fly. And he gets a paddle on that one. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. There's another stop. Oh, he's locked right in. A couple of stops in a row there. The Predators moving ahead. Nashville's got it in the own zone. Takes the shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Bennington's had a really easy night here, James. I don't know how it could be much easier than this. Directs it on over to Strom. Oh, what a dangle! Stop that one. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Great save with the stick. Toronto's the final stop before they will finally get those weary legs home. Well, you get out on the road and it's just game after game after game. And sometimes it seems like the end is just never going to come. At least now, there's a stop sign on this trip. Receives the pass. Takes the feed at the point. That goes off a twig. Nice pass. Rocked him in the open ice. Detroit's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Moves the puck. Centering pass! Handles the puck at the point. Tape to tape feed on the blue line. Just wide! Picked up along the wall by Heiskanen. Inside his own end, moves the puck. Booming shot! What a stop as he puts up the fire! It's another sellout game. The team would like to thank you for your continued support. The Red Wings are going to want to bring this big lead home late in the third. Detroit's got it in the offensive zone. And that shot dies in traffic. Knocked off the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Falamaki. The Red Wings walk the line. Hammers a shot. He scores! The Dumas, Dylan Larkin. Goalies in this league have unbelievable reflexes, but sometimes the change of direction is just too much. Detroit's all too aware there's no mercy rule in hockey. They continue to apply the pressure. No, they're laying a beating on these guys now. It may be time to lay back just a bit. Bertuzzi's got it in the defensive end. Here's a shot denied by the goaltender. The Predators gain control of the puck against the wall. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. And a great save. Taken by Forward. Nashville's got a hold of the puck. Takes the pass. 
Detroit's got the puck along the wall. Quick pass to Nylander. Passes it over to Strom. Cuts to the front. Comes up with the blocker save. Sharp reaction save. Here's a short pass to Sanford. And now it's grabbed by Grandlin. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Chikrin's taking it from his own end. Bertuzzi's got it into offensive territory. Puck grabbed by Mantha. And that's broken up. Takes the feet at the back end. And that brings an end to this one here this evening. It's like the old song goes, all they do is win, win, win. Man, it's fun when you play like this. Your team goes into a game you almost know you're going to win. And they've put together a long winning streak. I guess there's a lot of different organizations that can take credit for how this grassroots movement started, but I love the post-game tip of the cap here. Well, I think any team that doesn't do it now would look like they're missing the boat. Well, this one's in the books. A fun one tonight for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Good night.